Discover your destiny at beautiful Hotel Inferno, Las Vegas' hottest new casino and lodging. Here you'll find over a thousand slot machines in our slot purgatory area. This casino has everything. Cage fighting Iron Fist, flare bartending, imprisoned Sorcerer Supremes, off-brand Spider-Man, free buffet and golden fiddles, opportunities to make supernatural deals with Mesafisto himself. Get demon selfies or relax in our spa and salon. Son, the greatest trick the devil has ever pulled is this beautiful hotel. Come on down. This is Barney Fly with Barney in the Sky. It's Bedlam in New York City. It's traffic at a standstill during the Juggernaut's current rampage. The $20 million price on Deadpool's head has put local villains in a frenzy, resulting in the Juggernaut covered in cement after leaving behind a trail of property damage in the millions of dollars. Deadpool's fled the scene, is currently on the loose, and is considered armed and annoying. Please call authorities if spotted. Also, Deadpool is apparently shot in the groin with a bow and arrow by a man in a wheelchair. So you can take solace in that if your morning commute is at a standstill on the streets below. Stay tuned for more updates. This is Barney Fly with Barney in the Sky. An angry crowd gave chase today to a man some described as an old man Wolverine after he was involved in an incident with a super assassin Bullseye. He flipped the crowd and it was later reported that a person matching his description was seen leaving Mayor Fisk's office. Tonight is Karen Hodge, is a former United States diplomat, and her new book is Mutating Opinions. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you for having me. You're considered an expert on the mutant community, so we've invited you on to talk about the mutant situation. I have been fascinated with mutant culture since I was very little and have spent my time trying to promote understanding and acceptance of our kind. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not realize you had a mutation. We are all a little mutated. That being said, what do you think of current affairs? First off, I do not believe Jean Grey murdered that woman. The media has caught a lot of different groups, the X-Men, and I think that they should be clearly separated for better understanding of mutant communities' inner struggle. First, you have the Yellow X-Men, led by Kitty Pride. They're up there in Central Park keeping Xavier's dream alive. Next, you have Team Periwinkle. They're based out of Mandapur and are led by Magneto. And finally, the X-Men Magenta, led by Jean Grey, who's concentrating on making mutants a stateless nation with clemency in Wakanda and Atlantis. For someone who wants to bring humans and mutants together, she is going on about it in a funny way, attacking Mutant Defense for its headquarters. To be fair, it's called the Mutant Defense Force, and if you look at what just happened in Louisiana with that girl being shot in the street... How do you think Team Periwinkle will react to the news of Louisiana? Well, you never know what Magneto will do. Sorry to cut you off there. We have reports of bombs going off in major cities all over the world. This is Tom Belcher once again with sports. Every sport is rained out today due to the end of the world. The Challenger won the race for the Pyramids, resulting in a staggering loss for bookmakers as well as citizens of Earth. The Challenger ended the competition with a series clinching backhand to the Hulk that sent him and our hopes of not being annihilated spiraling into space as the world simultaneously emitted a collective groan. A red sky with lightning storms and earthquakes followed as the Challenger celebrated the win like a Philadelphia fan after the Super Bowl by destroying large parts of the city. He then spoke to the people of Earth in a post-game interview for the ages, announcing his dominance of our species and appealing to all to pray to him as their despotic ruler in a voice that everyone could hear across the planet. I personally would like to be the first to welcome our new overlord, all hail Grandmaster Prime. Please don't kill us, but rather let us live and firmly cement yourself in the Global Conqueror's Hall of Fame. And if you are bent on destroying the Earth, just know that our favorite hero's new genders, ethnicities, and sexualities, <coughs> Iceman, <coughs> and the struggles that come with them, make this conflict pale in comparison to the end of the world. All hail Grandmaster Prime! And that was Dazzler with Body Heat. Speaking of Dazzler, we have been told she's given a private performance, a party complete with her fireworks show. 
Next up, we have the Atlantean Athena with her song, Under the Sea. Under the Sea Sharp. And we're back with the voice of our generation, Ponzi Highlands. Did you all hear Burt Lancaster's foul mouth just to do the news, lady? And at least they're reacting to me. All right, y'all, it's time for Ponzi's Lights and Ponzi's Dislikes. Ponzi, that's slow girl. Thanks to her, Ponzi went bungee jumping. That's as crazy as Ponzi is. All you people taking advantage of squirrel girl should be ashamed of yourselves. Ponzi dislikes Nova. And by default, all the champions. I think that boy was intoxicated when he flew into that building. Then they just parked their super jet in the public park. Mm. They just need to think of other people. But you give teenagers superpowers and you see what you get. Like the Falcon. Ponzi told you about his vampire problem and the Falcon fixed 